This procedure will show you how to install your Curry Storm Pro frame into an existing masonry wall. For this procedure, you will need a level, a spreader bar, a tape measure, wooden shims, a box cutter, a chalk line reel, a square, a hammer, and a drill with a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit and a Phillips head drill bit. Measure the width of the opening at the top. Middle and bottom to be sure it is the correct width for the door frame. The opening should be no less than 1 quarter inch larger on the width and 3 16 inch on the height than the overall size of the frame. Measure the height of the opening at both sides to be sure it is the correct height for the door frame. The maximum opening is 3 8 inch larger than the overall size of the frame on the width and 1 quarter inch on the height. Make sure the sides and top of the opening are level, plumb, and square. If they are not, do not proceed with installation. Determine the placement of the frame within the width of the wall per the job specifications. There should be 4 inches minimum edge distance from the middle of the frame or anchor to the edge of the wall. Make a mark at the top and bottom of the masonry wall. Snap a chalk line between the two marks you made. Place the head on the two jams and secure it in place. This is done by using a hammer to bend the jam tabs toward the outside of the frame. Set the frame into the opening, using the chalk line on the wall to locate it. Check the plans to make sure the swing of the door is correct. Install a setting spreader bar at the bottom of the frame. Verify that the head and side jams are level and plumb. If the head is not level, shim under the bottom of the frame. Cut the shim so that it does not stick out from the frame. If necessary. Add shims to the lock side of the frame to tighten the frame to the spreader bar while leaving the hinge side tight to the wall. If more than a quarter inch shim is needed, divide the shims evenly between the two jams. Verify that the head and side jams are level and plumb. Using a 3 8 inch masonry bit, drill a hole into the wall for the bottom expansion anchor. Make sure the frame is aligned with the chalk line and is level and plumb before securing it in place with 1. Expansion anchor. Install. 9. Expansion anchors one at a time. Check the frame alignment as each expansion anchor is installed. Tape string to the front of the frame in opposite corners, running diagonally, to confirm they are in alignment. Leave the string in place until the frame is completely installed. Begin anchoring the head in the same way as the strike jam and hinge jam. Be sure to check the width at the center of the frame as you install the anchors. Remove the string and spreader bar. Fill any gaps between the frame and wall with caulk or with a backer rod. Your frame installation is complete and is ready for the next phase of construction.